So welcome everybody to the last day of 25 days of Tax Pay Days Challenge. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you have all the details down below, you can still around this thing, no problem, you're not too late. If you want to know how I solve day 25 or you're stuck, this is the video for you. So you're probably wondering what's going on with all this. The thing is the first time this is going to air is Christmas Day, okay? So th this is why. I apologize for the inconvenience of this after Christmas, but I had to do it. Merry Christmas, everybody. If you don't uh, celebrate Christmas, please allow me to do this still. Um, let's get started with the challenge. Okay, so for day 25, it was how many employees got hired in 1994, okay? We're going to do it as we've all been doing so far, with DAX, without DAX. Start with without DAX. So, how many employees? So, again, how many employees? We need to have employees on our table. Got hired. So, it sounds like there's a hire date somewhere. In 1994, we need a year, right? Well, we don't need that year. We actually don't need that year otherwise because there's not that year on the calendar. So how many employees got hired in 1994? There is, you can actually do with an advanced fil filtering here, the, the thing with 1994. You can put it in a slicer too, but I mean there are so few employees that we can actually count them here. We have one, two, three, four. Three employees that got hired in 1994 on the Northwind Company. So, how do we get this in DAX? It is Christmas Day, right? We can't, we cannot do this like super difficult. So, let's get the world. I'm just going to show you something that I learned a while ago. Um, let's do it. So, we're going to calculate. Now, we are going to calculate. We take the employee tables and we want to filter it by 1994 and find the end account of how many employees they have 1994 in the higher date. Um, one thing I read on the Microsoft documentation is that count, count rows is a lot faster than count or count A or all the stuff. So in this case, this is the learning, it's better to use count rows rather than count employees Apparently faster for us in North Wind, it doesn't matter. Just so that it was a good, n nice thing to know. Now, we need year equal to 1994, but year from hiring date. We don't have a higher date year. You don't need to create it either. We can do it on the fly. So we're going to get the year of the hiring date here, and it's equal to 1994. Uh, not three, four, please. And put the card in there and hopefully it says three days. Yay. So ladies and gentlemen, this is all from me. 25 days of me. You're probably really <laughs> tired of watching my face if you've been here so long. Um, have a fabulous Christmas. Happy New Year everybody. I will not be doing any more videos until the new year. So thank you. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't even know <laughs> for a year to be a fan. So, Happy New Year, Merry Christmas. I might do some calculator videos, I'm not sure. So, you might maybe see me on the second channel if you still put up with me. Otherwise, enjoy your family, rest your head, enjoy your holidays. If you do have them, obviously, I know that not everybody celebrates Christmas. And I will see you again next year. Take care.